Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis, where, quite different to our usual episodes, we're, s we're continuing right where we left off. So, we can also go here. In 21st, no wait. Go on, wait. Have them go there first. Got the smaller army. So our main adversary is Poland. So if I want to get anything else out of this war, I need to take care of the other guys or dealing with Poland. Probably. I mean, alternatively, I could just, you know, t uh, take over all Polish provinces and just l leave it there and then do whatever else I want. Might also technically be a really interesting thought, come to think of it. Anyway. Someone in here. I want to deal with it. Apparently there's a naval combat going on here. We're going to Western Baltic Sea. So let's detach a sea regiment and move on to Lublin. Oh wait, there's there's a Bohemian army. Oh, Bohemia thought you know my now might be a good good time to pick Poland again. Not something we've done before. Alrighty. This kind of complicates things because now I have another force that's also sieging. I guess you can also go north then. We got a transport ship. Great. to Athenia, which has, which has friendly armies, probably. Uh, another siege regiment and go there. We'll have to fight the Moldavian army, but not the Lithuanian army, because they're not at war with us, but they're participating in that other war that's also going on. Has uh, some royal marriage? Sure. Keep those in mind that I... Probably want to build, that I probably want to build better relations with them.
We're going to Bessarabia. All right. The Lublin is already over. How the hell did you do that so quickly? Wait, don't don't tell me. I'm okay the way it is. Sixty thousand is remind me to never get on Bohemia, Australia's bad side because they have recently grouped up and kicked back Hungary quite a bit, and I was just happy that they didn't see any reason to attack me apparently because that that would not have been a fight I'm looking forward to. To be totally honest here. Long accepted peace with Bohemia, we'll see Krakow and Zalomiras, okay. Poland, what are we gonna do with you then? I mean, at this point it looks like I might just vassalize you because we only have two provinces left. Or could annex Warsawa, you can continue to exist in Lublin, I guess. Well, maybe, maybe any one of these things. So, Novgorod. They're just gonna try to evade me, but well, I do have a big army there somewhere, so I don't want to split up too much at this point. That's seat here too. And then is there still a little army somewhere? Why did Transylvania get a, get 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 into existence? I don't know, I, I wasn't responsible for that. Anyway, you can probably move on back up here. Also, your certain has either results as our landowners have recently made extra special efforts to exploit their serfs. Well, at some point I might want to move away from serfdom. I don't care what you guys' peace offer is, we're gonna have. Very unfavorable peace terms in a moment. Let's move up one, you know, vassals here because that probably will just draw me into war into the Balkans where I would have to face Bohemia and Austria. But also having vassals does 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 give me more manpower and as a result a higher supply limit so I can, you know, afford having more troops if that day ever comes. Um, we'll see.
Good. Siege is over. Don't see any Moldavian or Polish anywhere. But you can also just go here. Yes, Poland is at 0% war capacity. Crazy amount of war exhaustion. What? You, you wanted to go to war with me? You're a, you fucking attacked! You don't expect any mercy from me. Not even a little bit. Okay, so as soon as that group is there, we can attack Ostek and Neva. Start sieging that. I don't really want anything from them. If I get them to release Finland again, then I'll just have to fight another war with whomever, probably Denmark at this point. So, not sure. I mean, it would it would reduce their their size a little bit. You know, the deep lobbing. I mentioned last time the last times probably anyway Right. So let's check what my potential options here would be. Could settle the status of England land finally, which I definitely don't like. So apparently I wanna siege some more, you know, significantly more. First time that we actually see, see pirates. We're gonna wait here because as soon as the siege in Neva is done, the fleet will, will be flushed out and we have to fight them. Anyway. Oh, there's an army coming. Quite a big one, too. February 8th, 12th, January. Right? They're going to all sorts of places. Uh, but the main stack is going to... Oh, Kangala... Oh god, I don't even want to spell that. Kangalisk. Let's siege. There.
¿Vale? Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, Poland, I'm so sorry. You brought this on yourself. Gonna split on here. One further. Lithuania seems to be having issues too. Still undecided? Why you have a you have a secondary army somewhere that I don't know about? If you don't then I can you know just lay siege to your provinces for ages. My war exhaustion is shiny. What is yours? Uh, that's a good guys. That's a good. Particular danger. If they had, it would have materialized by now. Judging from the size of, uh, pro of judging from the number of provinces that I have in total, so let's actually just catch a siege here, then go Karelia, Exxon, catch a siege also go here, cover more ground, you know. If we lay siege to a dozen provinces at the same time, we're doing the job right! Arrow's over. Up on to provinces further. Alright, lots of pirates here. Come on, get the Siege of Neva or Bujak finished. Ooh. Much? Get one of one of their ships or two, or more. Oh, wouldn't complain about more. They have lots of big ships, but no smaller ones. Nice. Anyway, we got another one of their light of their light ships. Transport. Put an island now. Go to boat. Ah, whatever floats. <laughs> I 
Let's look at the finish in Budjak too. Alright, well, went better than I thought it would. Also, I have a lot of prestige at the moment, and we're not even going into peace negotiations, so I'm actually gonna take this time to spend some of that influ some of that in order to get additional spheres of influence. Spheres of influence are interesting because they um, increase the amount of magistrates that we generate, which in peace times is important because I needed to build stuff. Also, just having spheres of influence also increases our diplomacy by quite a bit. But you need you you need a much higher di diplomatic skill of just ten, just in order to do some of the things that I want to do with uh, certain people. You know, like peacefully convince them to become our vassals, for instance. You know, so I think I'd rather spend now. Odenburg, sure. Alright. Because there's a there's a cap of prestige at one hundred. So uh, no need to just waste prestige that I could use to buy influence and you know. Have an easier time convincing people to do things they actually might not want. Oh well. Let's be real, they definitely don't want that, but, you know. Ugh. I was waiting for things to happen and then I noticed, yeah, so paused. Sorry. Oh, that, that was a... Rain AFK there. Anyway, tribute. So, I'm not interested in your provinces. Uh, but, I'll force my religion on you. You're gonna become good Protestant Christian, and you're gonna become my vassals. Sounds good to me. You have treaties with the Ottomans? Okay. Whatever these treaties are, you can continue to have them. I'm gonna take that money, you know? I'm gonna leave you a bit, you know? You don't need to... We don't need to be overly harsh here. Alright. Back. Is over. What's up being blocked? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, the pirates. Oh, right, right. Probably circle around, you know, Scandinavia and deal with these types. Um. How are we looking? 23%. Well, let's at least wait until the siege, the siege in Novgorod is over, which should give us a lot of percent because it's the capital and all. Poland is still, you know, just, just, just sitting there. So the plan is to release Finland again, which would gain control of Nyland, Exxon, and Neva. Not much. I also have to deal with, you know, someone attacking them in the future. I don't know.
I don't know if I want to bring back Finland because last time it really didn't work out really well. Maybe everything's better now that we're more powerful and all, but just bad memories, you know? with them or yeah they are okay because there's troops of them running around but i've rarely seen them do any actual sieging That's already taken. Go here then. Or we should detach siege, move on here. Well, we had a lot of wars in the beginning where we strove to gain a small advantage and then, you know, get get a teeny tiny thing out of it. And now we're just, you know, completely rolling over like Novgorod isn't that small, you know. It's I mean, it's not Muscovy, but they're not, they're not that small, you know. But we're just waltzing in there and saying, you know, you thought you saw an opening. You were wrong. Are you going to pay the price for being wrong? Muscovy tells of the time of troubles. Beginning in 1560, Muscovy faced almost a decade of utter chaos, slowly consuming the country from within and bringing it to virtual collapse. Our nation struggling both socially and economically as famine and war plague our nation. The growing opposition against the aristocracy and church has resulted in a series of rebellions and assassination attempts against the monarch. Ooh. Tell me more. Merchants are also doing a really good job. Merchants are kind of the unsung heroes of this game that I never talked about much, but especially since we saw, especially you know, since I adopted a more uh, free market kind of uh, kind of um, form of government, they've been doing really well, and they're just bringing in the big bucks. You know, I mean, tax is nice, production is also nice, but damn, that trade income. And really go on a big spending spree, maybe build another university somewhere after this war is done and I can focus on that. I guess technically I can also just start right now, build something big. Wonder, something big? How big? Well, really big? Uh, what can what we can build this? Oh, it's more expensive. The more you already have, the more expensive it is. Wait, what? Really? <laughs> Don't know that. But I guess it explains why the second university was so expensive. Oh, apparently we need even more outrageous amounts of money. Such a shame. Mm, what I would like to do though is to increase my naval force limit because we're really lacking a naval port limit. I mean, it's improved a bit now, but and built you know just docks everywhere, just all the additional naval supports. Great.
Sorry, but I don't want to overflow, you know, magistrates. I do intend to build quite a bit of things in the next uh, months and years, so... Apparently we've already taken care of things there. Guess you can al al already, you know, turn home. Up with the town hall. And it was administrative for public. Oh. Oh. What? Not? Why, why is that not possible? I thought that was kind of the standard road to go there, right? Oh, Constitutional Republic was, was what I was looking for. Ne ne never mind that, never mind that. Anyway. At some point maybe we'll just, um, you know, not have that king and all, which... Something I'm gonna talk about when it happens. It'll probably happen at some point. I mean, it kind of limits our diplomatic options because we can't, you know, make marriages and annexing is pretty much next to impossible. Unless you have an insane amount of, you know, influence just built up, ev just built up everywhere to improve your diplomacy skill. In which case, it might be possible, but still pretty insane. Anyway, Ireland, England now controls the province. So now the ships will come back out to play. Come out. Oh, is that that all? Did we have more ships? Huh. Also, weren't the pirates here? Well, I guess they can already return. So. He's been a faithful servant so far, but now he seems to have grown too insolent. He just to announce a great king's policy and recently did so in public in front of the foreign ambassadors. If he's right, we shouldn't let that become a habit of his. Um, kind of has a point. At least prestige, which I don't care about too much. And I get investments randomly. He kind of has a point. As a natural scientist, he probably has a point. All right. Anyway. So how about peace? So, first things first. Then we're releasing Finland again. I do not want do not want to adopt our religion. Region Novgorod is still not done. I would like to find out if could actually take it. Also take a little bit of money, but since it is at a hundred percent, it should be done. You know, every year now. Turn. Here. Your unit types. Yeah, we get Battle Cavalry, finally! You know, we've had Latin Knights since the beginning. We've had... We, we changed infantry quite a couple of times, but now we finally have, you know... Cavalry with... With firearms. I'm gonna that freaking Siege of Novgorod get, get done, please. Getting a little bit ridiculous. Mm. 
interesting thing I could do is seed Nyland to England. And since it's looking like we might be, you know, um, integrating it into Prussia at some point, might just take it later. But I still get the infamy hit now. Ola's over, right? No, what's not over yet? Novgorod. You know what the sur first siege I started here was? Novgorod. Oh wait, a royal marriage offer. Over. Wait, when did you lose that? Wait a second, what the hell happened here? Why did you lose Butchak? Might have been an uprising, but... Damn. Need to keep more attention on what my vassals in the middle of nowhere are doing, apparently. That guy's also over, which was the last one I started. We want to make a bet. Which one of those is going to finish last? Finland, Kexholm or Novgorod? My money's on Novgorod, to be honest. Anyway, we do have a few fair places for new ships, so let's also start building a couple of ships. It's four. Get a couple more barks. Yeah, 69%. Both of these countries are not looking good, you know? Novgorod is, has a stability of what the heck? There is the fleet. Wondering where that fleet went off to. Did Meissen contribute in that fight somehow? They, their army is still here. Well, they can do whatever. I'll go over there. Maybe, maybe we just need a whole, whole bunch of more people there. Yeah, yeah, Novgorod. 
And then there hasn't is not done yet either, so still a chance it might not be the very last one. Both are walls breached, so I guess that's also gonna be at pretty high level. Come on, it's getting getting really ridiculous now. Yeah, apparently Novgorod lost. Damn. And you know what also lost? The fleet? They have nowhere we're left to anchor! <laughs> Uh, well, let's have peace with Georgia. Well, we change much. Novgorod is finally over after only just three friggin' years. Right, right. God damn it, man. <sighs> All right, I still can't claim Novgorod because it's the capital. All right, good. Just wanted, just wanted to know that. So we're still at that plan. Release Finland. Also gonna force our religion on you now, just because you, just because that took so freaking long. And you know, if you become Protestant, we might just become allies at some point. You know, it will probably drive them into further r religious troubles and just, and, and just uh, result in the total, um, in the total um, defeat by someone else in the next 10, 20 years or so. But I don't really care. I have no particular interest in gaining anything here. Finland, maybe. Finland, maybe. I can accrue some infamy without, you know, being worried immediately. At that, at least. Even if, if I don't want to keep it, I can just sell it to, you know, Finland. <laughs> so, that's probably an option. Anyway, this is the deal. Do you still have money somewhere? Alright. We'll also take that. Then we're out of here. Great. So I don't want that on a pop-up, thank you. Anyway, that was that. We kind of totally kicked um, their ass. Oh wait, still need to make peace with Poland. A devastating victory with Poland, have a possibility to annex them. Great upset to the rest of the reformed world. Well, what do I care about the reformed world? But I have no interest in annexing them. They can They can rest easy. I'm mainly interested in them adopting the true faith! And then I can't vassalize them. Gah. Gah. Well, apparently you're not gonna embrace the, our true faith. But you're gonna recognize that Tarun is ours. And that Bessarabia is, you know, Moldavia's. Mm. Alright, so the rest I don't care. If you get overrun by, 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 by Bohemia, it's really not my business. Although I could technically have renounced the claims in order to reduce the chance of you just attacking them. I do have quite a few points left anyway. 
and a lot of money because in the past few years they you know they couldn't really build any troops so they have lots of money just lying around which i'll take really i'll just take the money i don't care about the claims so much i'll just take the whole damn money that you have and build you know another university or something all right Could also not vassalize them and instead, you know, force them to convert to Protestant. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe another time. Alright, but that was that. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. I can probably expand influence over Davia. Anyway. I'm gonna wrap up this episode right here. Um, I have lots of I have lots of money to spend, uh, so I'll have fun doing that in your absence. What we'll be doing next time, I'm not sure. You know, I really want to go and kick Brandenburg's ass at some point, but first things first, I don't have a castle belly. Also, you know, Austria might protect them. Castile might protect them because we're different faiths now and all. So. Unless I can kind of maneuver them to attack someone that I have an alliance with and then just say, Look, I didn't want to attack them. They attacked my friend, you know? I'm not really seeing how I'm going to get into any war there soon. I'll think about it. We'll see that maybe next time. Have a good one.